The top 10 jobs in 2012 did not even exist in 2004. The future for many of these students standing here today is therefore likely to be a job that doesn't even exist yet, using technology that hasn't even been invented. To prepare our students for this changing world, we are embedding digital technology in all we do here at the Academy. Most powerfully, we are doing this through the students themselves, through a project called Digital Leaders. Digital Leaders provide students with a real voice on the issues that matter to them. The project, although still in its infancy, has proved incredibly popular, with over 100 students involved across the academy. Digital Leaders age in range, sorry, range in age, not age in range. <laughs> they range in age from 3 through to 16, and each brings something unique to our online discussion area, which is proving really popular. Digital Leaders have been involved in some excellent projects already, including working with Mozilla, the company behind the Firefox web browser, to develop an online accreditation scheme. This project involves six IPAC students visiting the Mozilla head office in London to meet with peers and industry experts. The students, aged between 6 and 14, each work collaboratively and effectively to present their thoughts in a clear and concise way. My personal highlight is here today. This chap at the end there, look, right at the end. This is Finley. <laughs> And Finley, while in London, stood in front of how many people do you think, Finley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> about the number that there is there. <laughs> <laughs> he stood in front of about 50 people. How old are you, Finley? Seven. Seven. A seven year old stood in front of a group of 50 people students and industry professionals, people from Toshiba, people from social networking sites. And Finley talked confidently and independently about a skill that he had discovered only hours earlier. Do you want to tell him what that was, Finley? Well done, Finley. Finley, what, what, can you remember the website you were using? Mozilla Thimble. So basically, Spinley was doing computer science. He was learning to code, and he'd learned that from all the people that were around him on that day. And it just shows that power of learning together. Last Tuesday, I took a further seven students to London for a meeting at the Beachy Tower. This was not a sightseeing visit, although we did have lunch on the 33rd floor. The students, most importantly, though, got to talk about their vision for the academy. And it comes back to what Stephen says. These guys and the guys at the back of the room are at the heart of everything that we're doing. The journey forward for us is an exciting one, and it's one that is exciting for the whole community. And what technology we'll be using in even three years' time is hard to say. However, what is clear is that whatever technology we use, it will be for the inspiration, engagement and enjoyment of all our pupils to deliver outstanding outcomes and a very bright future. I encourage you all to visit the three areas of the hall today, showcasing the technology we are already using here at IPACA to support learning. The Skype station, who's running that? Um, who have we already called today? Um, Can you remember, Emily? It's the Royal School of Dubai I've been calling you today, and you've been speaking with that. 35 degrees out there. <laughs> Sadly, similar then. We can't transport today. Yeah. Um, and we'll also be calling later on today St Mary's First School in Charminster. Um, and I believe you're hoping to speak to your cousin, thing. is that right? Yeah. Um, you'll also see our 65 inch plasma, which has very kindly been lent to us by Hugh Simmons today. And I encourage you to test that and explore the touchscreen technology that will support the agile learning spaces that we will have in our academy. <laughs> Finally, if you, haven't seen our old, okay. if you haven't seen our augmented reality display yet, please do not leave without letting the students show you the power of blending virtual reality with the actual reality. The results are magical. Thank you very much.